previously on Less Than Kind. I mean, we could take all this and we could, like, make a web series. Oh, I can't act. I'm not allowed. Fine. I Chandra can't. said no. I know. But no acting. No! Fuck! God damn it, Dean. You're as bad as Gorin. Are you firing us? I fired you 20 seconds ago. Why are you still Whoa. here, bitch? Yeah, we're out of here. Oh, we're out of here. Shit. How are we gonna get down? You have a crush on my sister. And thinks we're a bad idea. Well, she's just too nice to tell you herself. Something wrong? Jim says he's quitting. Annie? I know Uzi got a little love tight last night, but we're all friends. No, you and I are friends. Uzi's not anymore. Are you asking me to fucking quit? You can go to jail. I know you know it's seriously wrong. Okay, shut up. Do you even like me anymore? Yeah. Of course I do. I'm just... I'm so fucked up. I don't know what I'm doing. Miriam kisses Jack. I'm sorry. I don't know how to help you anymore. Miriam? Hello? Sheldon storms into the apartment. Danny? Hey, bro. I'm gonna go shopping. Do, uh, you need anything? From shopping? Is there something going on with Miriam? Say what, bitch? We see Danny hiding in the kitchen. Is there something going on with Miriam and my Uncle Jack? I know who those guys are. Why won't you look at me in the eyes? They're my eyes. I'll do whatever the fuck I want with them. Not today. Look at me. Why? I don't know anything. Then look at me, Danny. Why are you acting like such a freak? Look at me. Stop chasing me. Stop backing up. I'm only backing up because a freak is chasing me. Stop, weirdo. Danny, stop. You stop. Sheldon backs Danny into a corner. What? Tell me there's nothing going on between Miriam and my Uncle Jack. The Movie Network and Movie Leaning Central present into sky, Jessica Macho, Wendell Melvin, Benjamin boy, Arthur, Nancy Sorrell, Brooke Paulson. Produced by Paula J. Smith. Executive town. producers Phyllis Lang, Ira Little Levy, and Peter Williamson. Executive proclaim. producers Marvin Kaye and Chris Shesbury. Executive Bye. producers Mark McKinney. Created by Marvin Kaye hey. and Chris Shesbury. Less than kind. When a pack We see Eric and Josh in the studio, hanging from the ceiling. You know, I think we might have backed the wrong side of the hyperclaxian rebellion. Oh, man. Earth to Eric, come in. If we don't get down, we're gonna miss a radio interview. If you miss a radio interview, we are fucked. Dude, I need you to be on Earth right now. Got it, I'll try to get my spacesuit thrusters online. Help! And away. Sheldon sits in his bedroom, motionless, looking stunned. Go away! I'm not going anywhere, I'm your friend. Rick. No. Sheldon stares off. Okay, but why don't we continue this conversation while we're sipping a hot cup of beating the piss out of Jack? No. Sheldon doesn't move. Oh. She trashed Marion's so. room. It's my room, too. If I say the word hooker... FUCKING LEAVE ME ALONE! Okay. We're back where we started. Is that your answer, huh? Get shit-faced? Fine. Sheldon chugs a bottle of vodka. Sheldon, you might want to, uh... Wait, drink more? Yeah, don't mind if I do. No, I, I was gonna say... No, I was gonna say you should, uh... Why don't you take it easy? The bottom's up, Ruby! On the vodka. 
Crazy. Damn right. Which one do you think is this bedroom? Uh, let's just ring the doorbell. When this goes down, only stop me if you think I'm killing you. What? Sheldon throws a vodka bottle. It bounces off a tree and hits him in the head. He falls over. You okay? Sheldon? Sheldon? Sheldon gets up off the ground. Go home, Danny. Sheldon, I don't need you anymore. Sheldon walks away, leaving Danny distraught. Sheldon knocks on Jim's door. There's no answer, so he turns to leave. The porch light turns on. Hey, Sheldon. Sorry to wake you. What's going on? What, what happened to your head there? Are you in trouble? Yeah, I think so. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. Come on in the house. We see the Winnipeg skyline turn from night to day. Blecker House. We need to talk. I've got some news. If this is about Jim, I don't want to hear it. Oh, it is about Jim, but it's good. Well, it's too late. You saw to that. I couldn't even tell if you liked him, Annie. And believe me, neither could Jim. I'm just trying to help now, and so is Sheldon. Sheldon? Yeah, he just called me from Jim's place. They're on their way over here now, together. Jim and Sheldon? Yeah, yeah, don't you get it? Now, either Sheldon is playing Cupid, or Jim put him up to this. But either way, it's good. It means it's not too late. My son, playing matchmaker. Makes me look pathetic. No, it's good. And you're not pathetic. You might want to run a brush through that hair, but I'll make coffee. Okay. Good coffee. <laughs> yeah, good coffee it is. <laughs> Chandra runs down the stairs. Did you see Josh? No, he's not home. Oh, maybe he's working. He's not answering his phone. Oh, sweetie, that's Josh. Oh, maybe that's him. No, it's not him. Oh, well, I. Hey, hey, hey. Back in the apartment, Miriam is sleeping in her bed. Sheldon? Sheldon? Miriam opens the door. Miriam! Is Josh here? 
Uh, no, why would he be here? Because he's not at home. He's not anywhere. Is something wrong? Yes. Can I come in? Uh, yeah, sure. Your place is really cute. Thanks. We only have... I don't have time for a tour. I did something horrible to Josh, and I can't fix it. Did you cheat on him? No, of course not. But I lost almost all of our money, and they won't give it back. Who? I don't even know! There are dogs playing poker online! I was winning, and the pictures made them look really stupid. But they're not. They're really smart. They're really good. They win everything. Winner, Ganyu. Almost everything. Oh, look. Now I'm only down. Oh, my God! Are you playing right now? I'm always playing. Oh, shit! The poodle with the sunglasses is back. What do I do? I think you should stop. I can't. The game is never ending. Chandra shows her the phone. Okay, well, it, it says exit game, so do you want to? No! Wait. Okay. Miriam closes the game. Do you think you can keep yourself from turning that back on? Nope. That's why I need to find Josh. <laughs> They're here. But Annie, sit in the light. Anne looks excited. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Sheldon. I wouldn't uh, commit to that just yet. Jim, uh, please, have a seat. OK. Please. Thanks. I, uh, I have something very important to say. No, Sheldon. Jim and I are grown-ups. And whatever the hell our relationship is about. What? Hang on a minute. Do we really need my son to play matchmaker, Jim? What? I'm just so glad we're getting this all out in the open. Hello, Anne. Am I late? No, I haven't started it. Just uh, have a seat, sir. Wait, what is this all about? It's about Miriam and Uncle Jack. Miriam is talking to herself in the mirror. Sheldon, I have um, something to tell you. Please don't hate me, but I... Sheldon, I, I have something to tell you. Please don't hate me, but I, I cheated on you. Sheldon, I know you're gonna hate me for this. Oh, okay. Why can't we just call the fucking cops? Uh, put the phone down. Yeah, I'll put the phone down right up his fucking ass. Enough. Everybody, just shut up, please. And uh, look, just stop touching me, okay? Because if you touch me, I'm gonna cry, and I can't cry. We have too much to do. Sheldon, I'm so sorry, but why am I here? You're here about the Danny part. He's in trouble. My friends are in trouble, and I'm gonna help them, and you guys, you're gonna help me. And we're gonna do this today, okay? Okay, just tell us what you want us to do. Josh and Eric are still hanging okay. in the studio. You're so fucked, You're so fucked. So fucked, so fucked. Wait. Did you hear that? It's my transponder. You had your fucking cell phone this whole time? We can't use it. The Klaxians are monitoring all our frequencies. Rick. Get me in you, Eric. Eric, get me here. Transponder. I can't. They've broken all the codes. Sure. They've broken all the codes, but what if we were to create a new code? A personal code? It'll sound like I'm talking to my wife about shit, but really, I'll be calling for help. That sounds crazy. If at any time you think I'm giving away too much, just shoot me with your neural blaster. But that would kill you, Smokey. Give me a transponder. Eric reaches into his suit and gives Josh the phone. Josh reaches for the phone and starts to spin around. It's 
stopped spinning and is hanging upside down. Hey! <laughs> hey! No? A uh, bit of a snag? Might need you to come pick me up. Yeah, no, 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 not at the bar. No. <laughs> I'll give you an address. It's 976 Warhol. Okay? Big shitty warehouse. Just come in the side door. I'll explain later. <laughs> Hurry. Oh, <sighs> your force field, Smokey. No, I won't. That's an order! Blacker House. You up for this? I don't have half your sang foi, but I'll be there. What about you, Mom? How are you doing this? How are you not falling apart? I've scheduled falling apart for 6.15. Right. 6.15, and I'll be back here, and I'll have hot chocolate, and I'll watch that Battlestar Galactica with you, the whole thing. 6.15. Love you. Shelton. I'll tell her. You got to. I know, it's just, um, it, it's gotta be last. Ah, well, first things first, huh? Let's go. It's the number one morning radio drive show in Eastern Manitoba, and they're gonna promote Spacebox. So, uh, I'm sorry that I lied to you, and I'm sorry that I dragged you down here, and, and I'm sorry for everything, and, and, and I'm sorry again. <sighs> Oh, please let us down. Not till after the apology. I don't know what else to apologize for. My apology. Apology accepted. Let us down. You don't even know what I did. Babe, all the blood of my body is rushed to my head right now, and shit may be super fucking smart, but I have no idea. I lost it. All of it. Day trading? I thought you said it was safe. It was safe-ish, but it was super hard, so then I went into online poker. All the money? The dogs were cheating, but I didn't know how to prove it. And then I didn't know who I was talking to. Okay, baby, baby, it's okay. All the more reason to get me down and get me to the radio station. Space box is a million dollar idea. Million dollars. Let us down and let Joshi take care of everything, okay? Okay. <laughs> Chandra runs over and pulls the rope. They are high enough that they come crashing down on their heads. Ow! Ow! God! Chandra takes off Josh's spacesuit. Eric! Whoa, 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 whoa! How can you breathe in space? You're a rogue hologram. I have to report you to the Protectorate! I will shoot! Stay back! You stay back! Stay back! What's wrong with him? Is he nuts? Forget him. We gotta go see a cougar and a bear. Let's go! Jack is swimming in the pool and answers his phone. Hey, come on over, it's nice. No, I'm calling to say I won't be coming over anymore. Oh yeah, why is that? I'm breaking up with you. <laughs> no, you're breaking up with me. Really? Wow, right before the prom? Boy, that's cold, gold stain. I just ran in my tux. I'm serious, we're done. You tell Sheldon? No, but I'm going to, and I'm not seeing you anymore. I don't know. Is this even Miriam? Because the Miriam that I've been going steady with would not break up with me over the phone. She's a high school graduate. Do you think I'm kidding? I don't know. I can't see your eyes, whoever you are. So do me a favor. Tell Miriam that if she really wants to break up with me, she's going to have to come over here and do it to my face. You are an asshole. I know who I am. Who? Oh, uh, uh, is this? Hello? Oh, uh, 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 uh. Wrapping up Cougar and the Bears, Bell bought him breakfast. That one goes all the way back to 1971. Lighthouse. One fine morning. We're going to traffic and weather on the ones, and then we'll be back with a very special guest. Right here on Cougar. And the Bear. What's your name? Uh, Josh Blair. I'm a huge fan of the show. Right. You were on Thunder Bay OPP, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> that show really lowered the bar. This one is even better. You are back with Cougar. And the bear. We've got Winnipeg's own Josh Blair with us today, and he's here to talk about his new web series, Space Box. Woohoo! Okay, Josh, so uh, pretend I know nothing about your show, which I don't. What's it about? What's it not about? Why don't you start with what it's about? 
Oh, okay. Uh, well, it's uh, about a box. Is the box in space? Yeah. So space box. Yeah, but it, there's actually hundreds of space boxes, all part of this huge space freighter. What else? Um, well, I play uh, Smokey, and he's the hothead, and my creative partner, Eric Blake, he plays the commander. In every episode, we explore a new box. So what happens in a typical episode? Um, well, episode three was called Dressed to Kill, and it was about aliens that disguise themselves as your clothes. The, the aliens were the clothes? Yeah, so you're like, oh my god, are these my socks, or is it an alien? <laughs> because you can't trust your clothes. Right. Which is why, in the climax, we're just floating naked in space. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey, Josh Blair, thank you so much for coming. But What? No, you, you can stick around for a little bit, can't you, Josh? I'd love to. Great. Okay. Well, let's pay some bills. Is this show actually online? Yeah. Um, www.joshblair.com. Lauren gets out of the car. Lauren. Man, what are you doing here? Oh, Lauren, I'm afraid I have terrible news. Miriam? Yes. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, not terrible news. It's horrible. Where's Miriam? Oh, no, no, no. No one's dead. She, she's not dead. She's alive and well. Not well. And what the fuck are you saying? Uh, let me start over. Lauren, I have terrible news. What? For those of you just joining us here on the Sea Rock, we have Josh Blair with us, and in the last break, we got to watch a bit of Space Box, and man, oh man, what a thing. Where do you guys come up with these ideas? Well, it is Eric. He is just a genius with ideas. It's almost like everything he thinks of is an idea. Like, he just came up with this one. It's about this whole civilization of ancient women trapped in the bodies of eight-year-olds. What happens in that one? Well, my character, Smokey. He's the hothead. Right. Right? Right. So naturally, he has a romantic entanglement with the queen. Ooh, oh, physical entanglement. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. With an eight-year-old. Well, she's hundreds of years old. Right, so is the actress who's playing her hundreds of years old? Well, we were going to use a midget, but then there was something creepy about that, so we'll definitely use a real eight-year-old. So then we'll get to hear Smokey say, I swear to God, Your Honor, she said she was 300. <laughs> <laughs> Stand. <laughs> what? Oh. You know, I think we need to take some calls. What do you say, Josh? You game for that? You want to take a few calls, Josh? Yeah, let's take some calls. Take some calls. Okay. <laughs> Uzi's Bike Shop. Hey! Lume! I heard you lost control of your boy last night. Yeah, he's really drunk. I heard he was talking shit about my business. Talking like he knows me. Like he knows who he's fucking with. Do you think Sheldon knows who he's fucking with? I don't know. He's fucking with the eye of the storm, Lube. He's fucking with the fangs of the cobra! <laughs> okay, I'll uh, pass that on. Yeah, and pass on this fucking garbage! Danny looks scared. Take that out! He picks up the garbage. Everybody, get on the ground! Get on the fucking ground! Oh, 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 hands up! Find the wall! Go, go, go! Shut the fuck up! You do it! Stay there! What do we do? Oh, shit, not that Oh, yeah! What was I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I ran! You guys are mine! You're fucked! Oh shit! He's a sick fuck! He's gonna want blood. Watch. He's gonna make an example of one of us. He's gonna pick one of us out and he's gonna mess us up bad. I could hope it's you. Stop talking about it! The officer walks up to Danny. Hey, pretty boy. <gasps> Not you. <gasps> you. What? You're with me. No, 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 no. I, I should stay here. You heard the officer go? No. 
No, you no, 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 I should stay. I should stay. Don't move. Help! Help me! Look, look, you don't need to do this, okay? You're, you're a good guy. Oh no, I'm not. No! Why me? First and last warning, kid. Thanks, Tommy. Jim. Did you do this to get even? No, it, it was happening. We just got you out of it. Bullshit! Mother oh. 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 Ah. Motherfucker! Oh. Daddy, stop it! Hey, stop it! Sheldon cares about you! Fuck up a lot of cops for caring. Go fuck yourself. Both of you. Danny runs down the street. What do we do now? For fuck's sakes, you want to be his dad? Now's your chance. Go! Lube runs after him. So how do you like your plan so far? Shit, I don't know. That's supposed to be the easy part. Come on, let's get out. Hey, you want a lifesaver?